Hi guys, welcome to Python tutorial. In this session, I am going to explain operators in Python. So, operators are a special symbols which are used to perform operation on the operands. Whatever the result which is coming as part of the operation, we are going to use in the application. So, in Python, we have different type of the operators. So, first one is arithmetic operators, second one is relational operators, third one is assignment operators, fourth one is logical operators, fifth one is membership operators, and sixth one is identity operators. So, let us go ahead and each one we are going to see with an example. So, arithmetic operators basically provides the basic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and the to calculate the power of a particular number. So, I am going to explain this one using an example. Let us go ahead and start our interactive mode of the Python shell. If you see here, first we are see the basic operations like addition subtraction. So, I am going to define a equal to 10, b equal to 20. Now, I want to print the sum of two numbers. Then, you can say c equal to a plus b and print sum of two numbers is a c. Okay, so, this is for sum of the two numbers. Similarly, we can do for the subtraction. How we can do the subtraction is directly you can provide here 30 minus 10 it is going to specify 20. Okay, so this is nothing but the subtraction. So, if you want to go with the uh, variables, then a equal to 20, b equal to 30, now a minus b minus 10. So, this is how we can do the subtraction. And another one is the multiplication. So, multiplication directly you can specify 8 star 8, 64. If you want to go with the variables, a equal to 20, b equal to 30. Now, a, a star b. So, this is for the multiplication. And next one is the division. So, division we are going to perform like this, 20 by 4. So, 5.0. But by default, what happens in, in the case of um, uh, Python, it is strongly type checked. So, whenever you div divide it by any number, then it is going to return you the float value actually. That is the reason if you see here, 20 by 4 it is 5, but actually it returns the floating value of 5.0. But if you want to have the integer value, then you need to divide by like this. So, you need to put the uh, two forward slashes and then put the uh, divider. So, then you can see that 5. Okay. So, basically this symbol is to return the integer value of it, but only if you put the division operator, then what happens? It is going to return you the floating value of it. Next one is, if you want to go with the variables, then a equal to 20, b equal to 5, then we can, we can divide a by b it is going to return you the floating uh, uh, number if you want the actual integer then you need to specify a two forward slashes and then b okay now if you want to calculate the power of a particular number then two star star four then it is going to return you the power of two two to the power of four and if you want to test with the variable then a equal to two b equal to 4 and then a star star b. So, these are nothing but the arithmetic calculations how we are going to um, do. So, that those are comes under the arithmetic operator. So, plus is for addition, minus is for subtraction, star for multiplication, single uh, forward slash, this is the divider, it is going to return the floating number and one more operator we have it is reminder. So, if you want to know about the reminder of the particular uh, uh, division, then we can uh, do 28 by, sorry, modulo 7. It is going to return as the 0. 
for example uh, 25 modulo 4 it is 1 okay so if you want to know about the reminder then you can use the modulo operator so modulo is used for the reminder and star star it is going to be to calculate the uh, power of a particular value and then forward to forward slash is for the to get the divider in the integer format so gives the integer value after the division hope you clear with the arithmetic operations now let us go with the relational operators basically relational operators are going to compare between the two operands whether it is a equal not equal uh, whether it is true or false it is basically it is going to return based on these operations first one is for the equal comparing uh, between the equality and uh, it is for less than it is going to uh, calculate and it is going to say whether it is two operands are equal or uh, less than or equal to and similarly we are going to see with an example for example 2 equal to equal to 2 it is true so it is going to return true okay similarly if i want to specify in the variable a equal to 20 comma b equal to 20 now a equal to equal to p which is going to basically compare the equality between the two operands or two variables it is true now a less than b which is going to compare whether a is a value is less than b in this case it is false so it is going to return false again a greater than b greater than is going to again check for the uh, condition it is also false now let us consider a value i am going to update to 30 now a greater than b this is going to be true because a value is 30 and b is 20 and similarly less than or equal to greater than is equal to uh, what i can put here is let us consider b equal to i am assigning the 20 now a equal to equal to b is true a greater than or equal to b it is also true because a is 20 b is also 20 but if i say a greater than b it is a greater than b a value how much we assign 30 sorry a value is 30 so let me update a to 20 in this case a equal to 20 b equal to 20 now a greater than b it is going to be false and similarly we have not not equal operator now a equal to 20 and b equal to 20 so that is the reason a equal to b is true but if i say a not equal to b it is going to return false okay so basically equal to double equal to is used for the to compare the two values are equal or not less than if a value is less than b then is going to be written true else it false a greater than b if a value is greater than b then it is going to return true otherwise it is going to false and not equal to operator is used for the comparing whether these two are not equal okay so those are the rela uh, relational operator and then assignment operator as we see assignment operator is nothing but we are going to assign a particular value to it this is called as an assignment operator now next one we have the few use cases if you want to sum some value and you know want to put it for example i am adding 20 to the again a and i am entering and if i print the value of a this time you can see that it is the 40 because plus equality is nothing first it is going to do the addition and then it is going to um it is going to print that value basically similarly a minus equal to 20 this time what happens currently it is the 40 what it is going to do is it is going to subtract the 20 value of it and then again assign a value to the a and if i see here what happens is print a now this is going to print 20 because first it has uh, subtraction is happened and then it is again the assign the value and similarly a star equal to 4 currently a holds the value of 20 now i am going to multiply with the 4 then ideally the value of the a is going to be 80 now if i print the value you see 80 now this time what i am going to do is a 
divided by equal to 4. Now first it do this uh, division and then it is going to assign the value. Hence again the value will be value of a is going to be 20. Okay. And a now currently uh, a value is 20. Now I am going to use the exponential equal to 2. 20 square it is going to calculate and return the value to the again uh, assign the value to a. If I print the value of a 20 into 20 that is 400. Okay, so like that if you want to um, assignment operator is basically used for assigning the value and similarly you can increment and decrement at the parallel you can uh, increment and again assign the value back then you can use for this assignment operators. Okay, and then logical operators, logical operators is basically and or not. So it is again uh, logical operators how it is like um, a equal, for example, let me assign a value a equal to 20, b equal to 40. Now I want to see the relation, uh, I can have to multiple conditions I can check. Let us consider c also I am assigning, c value also 30. Now a great a equal to equal to 20 and b equal to equal to 40. Now what it is going to show you if both the conditions are true then only it will be true. Okay. And similarly a equal to 20 and b equal to equal to 30. In this case b value actually it is 40. But here we are as a, uh, comparing with the 30. Hence, it is going to return false. Similarly, R. R is going to check only any one of the condition is true, then it is going to be true. So, A equal to equal to 20 or R. B equal to equal to 30. In this case, first condition is true. So, second condition is false. But as per the R, any one of the condition is true, then it will be true. For example, if I put the both the conditions false, a equal to equal to 50 or b equal to equal to 30. In this case, a actually value is 20, but I am trying to compare with the a value 50. Hence, both the conditions are false. So, it is going to return as the false. Okay. So, like this and r it is going to work. Not means it is reverse actually. Okay, so that is how the um, relational operators are going to, sorry, uh, logical operators are going to work out. And next one is membership operator. So in Python, membership operator is going to be used for to verify whether particular number is, particular uh, number is or particular value is present as part of the sequence uh, related like a list or tuple or something. So those type of collections you can use. So I am going to define list equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, I can use the membership operator and check whether that particular value is there or not. How I can check is 1, for example, 1 in list. It is going to say return true or return true because 1 value is already is part of the list. So, this is called as a membership operator. For example, 10 I don't have in the list whatever the provided uh, in the in this list. Hence, if I say 10 in list, it will say false. And similarly, we have not in. For example, 10 is not part of the list. If I say not in list, it is going to return true. 1 not in list, it is false because 1 is already present. Hence, it is going to return false. 10 is not there. Hence, it is going to return the true. So, this is called as a membership operators and also and also identity operators. Sorry, it is not is. It is not is. So, identity operator is is. Is is going to compare the equal. For example, 
ये इक्वल टू टेन नाउ व्हाट इज इज गोइंग टू डू इज इट इज गोइंग टू से वेदर ए इज ए इट इज गोइंग टू ट्रू बिकॉज इट इज गोइंग टू कंपेयर विद टू वैल्यू सर सेम आर नॉट and b equal to 10 let us con consider and a is b it is true because a and b values are same for example if i update b equal to 20 and again if i say a is b then it is false and a a is not b then it is true because b is 20 and a is 10 hence not is going to be true whether is is going to be false so these are the operators which are available as part of the python programming language and which are going to help you while writing your programs hope this is the basic understanding of uh, operators in python and whenever we are writing a programs these are going to help you to write the python programs thanks for watching have a nice day